it came from staying at this chick's house. There was a period when I first moved out to L.A. where Chris Pontius and I were both completely homeless. And we had this running competition to see who could stay homeless the longest, despite the fact that now we were earning enough money to be able to rent an apartment. You know, it was like... It was this funny game that we were playing. And at a, at a certain point, we were both staying at this girl's house. She was out of town. We were uh, house-sitting, taking care of her dog, which was this little 10-pound, like, fucking terrier, f- whatever. And so Chris and I come back from the bar with these two chicks. We're in this girl's place, and we're, we both in separate rooms are humping these these Danish chicks, right? They were both from Denmark. And uh, as per usual, I had this little habit where I took off my soiled condom and like would tie it in a knot and like, you know, I would like swirl it around and be like, woo, yeah, you know, and I'd throw it, right? Like, so I did that in, in, in this girl's house. I threw my tied in a knot rubber through it and then I'm whatever at the time I was smoking cigarettes I'm smoking a cigarette and I remember seeing the little 10 pound dog come in, running into the room and it runs out of the room and I'm like oh, okay you know that's uh and then, but then after I get done with my cigarette I, I get up and I look on the ground I'm like where's the condom like it's not here and I'm, and I'm thinking oh no so in my view this is the work because the girl whose house we were staying at had a boyfriend you know, and like if this dog picked up the condom and took it on like a little victory lap and dropped it somewhere else where the fucking boyfriend's going to find it in her place, like that's going to be a problem. So I'm all kinds of fucking stressed out about it. And like and then and I can't find it anywhere. And then even worse, what if the dog swallowed the fucking thing and it gets tangled up in the dog's intestines or something? And like, you know, the dog dies because it fucking gobbled my rubber. So I was like, the rest of the time at this girl's house, I'm like walking the dog. I'm like, you know, like checking every, you know, when the dog poops. I think, I forget how long it was. It wasn't too long, but I woke up from a crazy drug bender at like fucking 6 and six p.m. or something. And right next to the bed I was sleeping in is this piece of fucking dog poop which just morphed into my rubber, you know? It was like it was like half log and half rib- to you. <laughs> Yeah. And 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 like I and I grabbed my camera and fucking uh <laughs> I grabbed my camera and and lifted it up by the ring of the rubber and it, the the rubber gets like all straightened out and at once it re- once it's fully straight the the piece of dog poo is just sticking out perpendicular in the middle <laughs> you know and you can see the whole load Disgusting. of cum was was intact in the you know after passing through the whole dog yeah. that whole the whole load was just perfectly intact in the rubber and uh, you know I put it out on my first uh, my first DVD which I actually just uploaded into this video library at stevo.com when you see the first stevo don't try this at home video and career ender that's on there but uh, but yeah so I felt like fuck okay thank god we figured that out I got a cool piece of footage out of it but I felt fucking bad when Mike comes coming out of that dog's asshole <laughs> it's not it's not a lot different than the dog being sodomized by me. <laughs> <laughs>